Subscribe if you have crappy RNG. Do you get stuck in missions? Don't have time to watch guides? Why not just get things done? Then check out my other straight to the point guides on my channel. Without further ado, let's get into this. This is the Spire of the Watcher dungeon. As you load in, notice this long yellow cable. Get comfortable identifying this cable and also following this cable very closely, just like this. The entire dungeon essentially relies on this. Every encounter will also provide infinitely spawning minotaurs, which when killed, leave behind a puddle that grants you this Arctrician buff status. Don't worry if your timer runs out because there will be plenty of minotaurs to help you refresh. Just walk into any puddle to refresh your timer. You use this power to shoot these diamond boxes and in turn, activate them as shown here. you find these boxes are all connected by this yellow cable. Follow the respective yellow cables to find the next box in sequence and shoot it. Shooting the immediately following next box will cause the cable to charge up with blue energy, indicating that you shot the correct next box. But each distinct yellow cable route starts at a specific start box and ends at a final box. So follow these yellow cables from one end to the other, and eventually you'll stumble on a unique box like this. Note these boxes have small gray panels around it with flashing arrows indicating the directional flow of energy. So good job, you found the starter box for that particular yellow cable. Keep following the yellow cable to the next box, shooting the next box as you go along. Breakdown, here is starter box with arrows. Here are the rest of the boxes all along this particular yellow cable. Beginning at the starter box, make sure you have the arc power buff. Shoot the starter box to activate it. Follow yellow cable to next box. Shoot to activate it. Cable will turn blue, indicating you shot the correct next box. Follow yellow cable to next box. Shoot to activate it. Cable turns blue. So on and so forth. The yellow cable routes aren't always straight. They can zigzag and be tough to follow. Lastly, there are even red cables for later. So completing all yellow cable routes means all yellow cable circuits are done and are blue. The game will tell you when you've done that successfully. Shooting the next correct box will extend your timer. First encounter. Right away, you'll notice four yellow lines in the center, aka there are four separate circuits. You guessed it. This means you must complete four of these arc circuits, or also known as yellow cable lines, using the mechanic we just discussed. So, start off by just following each yellow cable from this end to the other and find each yellow cable starter box. Begin from here, follow the yellow cable to the next box, shooting them as you go along. Continue following the yellow cable to the next box, and keep on doing this over and over and over. Refresh your arc power buff as needed from the Minotaurs. As shown, I'm shooting the last box in the final yellow route. Complete all four and you're done. Heads up, there's a starter box on the left side of the map. It's hidden at the end of this tunnel shown here. With all four yellow cable routes done, you descend down. Explore a little, obligatory platforming section, and our goal is where that star is located. You'll see a gravity lift, and just keep on going up. Be prepared for more yellow cables and more starter boxes. Climbing the spire. You're climbing up three levels marked in blue, each with a total of two starter boxes with their associated yellow cables. So complete two of these lines or routes, however you want to call it. The yellow cables on each level wrap around the entire platform you're currently on. Each of these levels have infinite minotaurs for you to get your arc power buff. In the following clips, you can really see these yellow cables wrapping all the way around the level I'm currently on. There are sneaky spots like this, this one, and this one. As long as you find and start from a starter box like this, you'll be fine. The next box shouldn't be able to escape you, like this. So complete two yellow cable routes per level and you'll be done with this climb up the spire. First boss. Keep moving upwards as shown here. Eventually you'll see the boss. Recommended loadout. Linears are meta currently. Bring hard hitting add clear weapons. In the middle you'll find four starter boxes, each with their associated yellow cable circuit. Each yellow cable route leads to a shiny fuel block at the end of the platform. There are four in total. You probably guessed we need to complete all four of these yellow cable route circuits. Simple. Just begin from each starter box and follow their yellow cables. Getting to DPS requires completing all four arc line routes. You still have an infinite supply of minotaurs spawning in order to get your arctrician buff. Buff in hand, shoot starter box, follow yellow cable, shoot the next box, continue following yellow cable, shoot next box. Keep doing this until you reach the end, and shoot final box. Do this four times. Let's go step by step. Here's layout with starter boxes in middle, fuel rods in each corner. This is example yellow cable routing for the four arc circuits we must complete. All cables are blue, meaning all circuits are now complete. Assume this was the last route to be completed. If so, the entire team must converge on this final rod's position because the boss goes wherever the last route or fuel rod was completed. Example, the team is completing their yellow cable route circuits. All completed. Teammate Awesome Panda was the last one to complete theirs. Therefore, DP is on his position. I make my way over to his position. We stand right in front of the fuel rod. Wait for boss to reveal pimples. Shoot all pimples off. Once all pimples are gone, shoot a center eye with everything you got. Move with him and shoot him, but move along the edge of the catwalk because there are potholes in the catwalk. At the end of the DPS phase, he will literally push you away, so be ready. Or you can hide in this pothole if you're ready. Repeat as necessary to get to DPS. Get your arc buff from Minotaurs. Shoot starter boxes. Complete all four. Meet up by last completed fuel rod. Wait for boss. Shoot boss pimples. DPS the boss. Kill him. Good job, now you get to go back down. Next encounter, progressing through rooms. 
As you descend through the next few rooms, you notice red cables instead of yellow cables, but very familiar shootable boxes. There will still be minotaurs everywhere, so kill it and get a buff. And these red cable version boxes have no starter box. Just shoot all of them in each room as quickly as you can. There's likely an internal timer, but just be quick about it. As shown, I'm actually looking for the last one, and it's right over here on the right side right here. There you go. And the floor opens up below you. These red cable circuits or routes function essentially as a setup function. We'll see more of that later. Keep practicing with this and keep moving down. This room has one in the middle right here and along the walls right there. So in each room, just get familiar with these red cable versions. Final encounter. Recommended loadouts. Linears are still meta. Bring your best ad clearing loadout. The starter room could be split into left and right. Note the red cable version boxes. There are five total as shown. On the same pillar, these red cable boxes actually have a corresponding yellow cable box behind each one. And they happen to be starter boxes as well. Same exact thing for the other side. Here are the two shown here. Of course, you have infinitely spawning minotaurs. Get your buff from here. You're still following yellow cables from the starter box going to the final box. As shown, this does take you into the second half of the room as well. As shown in these clips, you'll see that there are a lot of boxes hidden in these nooks and crannies, so just be mindful of that. Let's go step by step. You have your red and yellow cable version boxes on each pillar, and then one red cable version box on the main diamond door. A back room that we'll get into later. Grab buff from Minotaur. Shoot all five red cable boxes as shown. Don't forget the one above the door. You get a message. Now something will happen. We just shot all five of the red cable boxes, so they're glowing blue as shown. Now, two of the four yellow cable starter boxes will become shootable. It'll be obvious if it's shootable, because it'll be opened up. The two shootable ones could be these two, these two, or these two. Let's assume it's these two lit up in yellow. We can call it L2, R2, or whatever. Each of these starter boxes have a yellow cable line slash route. You know the drill here. Go ahead and follow the yellow cables and complete those two routes as shown like this. But wait, before you shoot the final boxes, make sure the boss is inside the back room. As shown, he's outside, but we need him inside the back room. So shoot at him to get his attention and drag him in. Once he's inside, shoot the final boxes to complete the circuits. You'll get this threatening message, which basically means get the hell out of there and go back to the outside room. As shown, we just shot the final boxes and we're running back outside with the team. Wait outside, and those red cable boxes that we shot before will deactivate and we'll need to shoot them again. So, kill a minotaur for buff if you need to refresh your timer. And in this clip, the red cable boxes will deactivate right here, and we shoot all five again. Don't forget the one above the door. Doing so closes the door and isolates the boss in that room. If you do not shoot all five red cable boxes quickly enough, you will need to repeat the whole process from the yellow starter boxes all over again. Assuming you succeeded, Boss is isolated and the reactor will purge. Boss will become vulnerable. He'll begin walking towards you. Pop well in the center as shown right here. He'll begin walking towards you. You can continue to do damage. Otherwise, you may need to take cover behind pillars and peek shot his crit. This is because there's a lot of flinch and there's a lot of screen shaking. And just repeat the whole process. Make sure you're still buffed up. Refresh your timer as needed. Shoot all five red cable version boxes. Don't forget the one above the door. This then releases two shootable yellow cable starter boxes. Determine which two are the correct ones. Complete the circuits as shown as you've done this whole dungeon. Continue following the yellow cable into the back room as well. Complete both of the circuits. Make sure the boss is in the back room. As shown, I'm turning around and looking to make sure. Cool, now get the hell out of there. Meet up in the outside room. Getting ready to shoot the red cable version boxes. Okay, here we go. Yep, they can be shootable now. We're closing the door on him right here. Close doors. Getting ready for DPS. He's going to be isolated, purged. He's vulnerable, walking towards us, popping well, and unloading everything on him. Just repeat the steps beforehand as many times as you need to, and eventually he'll die. Honestly, the only danger here are the supplicants that seek up on you. I release this video as fast as I can so I worry about quality, but hopefully this is straight enough to the point that anyone can clear it. And if this helped you in any small way, comment below how it did, or maybe comment below how it didn't. I really do listen to all feedback and hopefully you see the changes in these guides. In any case, I'll catch you guys next time.